आउज़बिल्लिन शैतवान रजीम बसमान रहीम इवन दो द मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द कुरान इज़ अ टेक्स्ट एड्रेस टू अ बिलावद प्रॉफिट सल्ला वसलम इट टॉक्स मोर अबाउट अदर प्रॉफिट्स लाइक जीसस एंड मोजस इन फैक्ट मोजस इज मैंशन द मोस्ट नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स मोर दैन एनी अदर प्रॉफिट Ayat 285 mentions that we as Muslims do not make any distinction between Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala's messengers. La nufarriqu bayna ahadim mir rusulihi. Immediately after that, we have been commanded to say that we have heard and we have obeyed. وَقَالُوا سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا Therefore we must accept and obey everything which Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala and his beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam have told us I would like to convey a message to the Jews and Christians we as Muslims have been commanded to offer our daily ritual prayers the salah our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance that in it is a very special supplication called durood e ibrahim without the recitation of which the ritual prayer of every muslim is incomplete in this muslims are commanded to send supplications of peace and baraka not just to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and ibrahim alaihi salam but to the entire all as well although there's debate on the definition of all by the mufassirin some refer it to the meaning of progeny and lineage but others take a much wider definition to include the entire followers of those two prophets nonetheless allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has very clearly defined in the quran that merely being a part of abraham's lineage or his follower is not sufficient in both cases the people must not be evil doers zalimin and hence must be true believers to be included in the definition of all surah baqara ayat 124 and surah ali imran ayat 114 amongst many verses shed light on this concept therefore those who are committing the atrocities against the palestinians directly or behind the scenes by their acts or omissions muslims or non muslims in my opinion are not from the all of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam or ibrahim alaihi salam truth be told those who stand up against the oppressors in any form are the ones actually being blessed we are witnesses to many jews and christians standing with palestinians today it is especially them whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is blessing through the durood e ibrahim which all muslims recite in their daily ritual prayer five times a day in fact Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala praises these Jews and Christians in the Quran in Surah Ali Imran ayat 113 Yet they are not all alike there are some among the people of the book who are upright who recite the revelations of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala all night long and then prostrate before him بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى اله محمد 
كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد صدق الله العظيم